Turned out to be a good ride today. I'm in uh, Chile, near near um, Los Andes. I found on iOverlander uh, this roadside campsite. The, ro the road's up there, the river's down there, and I'm in between. And it says, b b uh, it says hikers, backpackers, and cyclists. But I managed to get my motorbike through the the weeds and down the hill. Uh, found this little sanctuary right next to the main road. Can't hear the traffic much because um, the sound of the river, so that drowns it out a bit. And I think this road is going to quieten down in the night anyway. Bit of a rubbish tip as usual. But not too bad. Yeah, come through the border. Uh, well, I stopped at Las Cuevas first. Stopped at Las Cuevas, had lunch. Uh, one of the best meals I've had in a long time. Chicken and mashed potatoes and vegetables. Hot meal, just as I was getting cold. It was about at the peak of the Andes. And um, yeah, just stopped for half hour, eat, uh, drink a pop. And then back on the bike. Uh, and that kept me warm right through to customs, and customs offices are warm anyway. Uh, so yeah, I've got 90 days now in um, Chile. The pressure of immigration is off now. Um, there's three steps, uh, migrations and then the Argentinian checkout of the bike, and then round the corner for a document, another 90-day document for the bike in Chile as well. So we've both got 90 days. And, and then it was on to the agricultural police. So unpack my bags in the car park. Um, I thought it'd be all right, because I had all dried stuff, but they took my basil, uh, sage, took my basil and sage and dried mushrooms. So they were the tasty bits out of the dried, the dried recipes. I thought it was a helicopter coming, but it's a, a train across the river. Yeah, so I took that. I've, got, I've still got some spices. They didn't take the spices. They, did, they didn't take the mambe. Uh, mambe is illegal here because uh, it's derived from coca in Colombia. Uh, but I said it was spirulina, and they let me keep it. So uh, still got that. I ha hardly touch it anyway. I've still got loads. Uh, maybe put some in the cooking. But it's a good medicine for altitude sickness, but I'm, I'm lower than I have been for ages now. This is about 700 metres above sea level, and I have been 2,000 in Uspalata, Uspajata, depending on where you come from. Um, yeah, so it's nice, even though it's overcast, it's nice and warm. I've got four layers on two t shirts, a thermal t shirt, fleece, and I had two coats, uh, three pairs of trousers. So my body was warm coming over the mountains. The only thing that got a bit cold was my fingers, they're sort of intermediate gloves. Um, but it wasn't too bad. I was thinking of staying in Las Cuevas, so that was a plan, but it was, it was just icy cold up there and it looked a bit bleak, so I didn't really fancy it, you know. Uh, best thing about it was getting in the restaurant with the big uh, paraffin heaters, like jet engines heating the place up, you know. So as soon as I was out of there, I was refueled enough to get to customs, and it was all downhill from there. Uh, yeah, the coldest bit, Las Cuevas, and maybe customs if you don't stop there. So if you can make it to Las Cuevas, you can push through and get to the other side in one go. But mornings in Las Cuevas, it's been looking like um, minus 15, minus 12, something like that. Just too cold. Yeah, so... When I went through, it was about zero, one, minus one, something like that. I was lucky with the snow. Um, the the uh, photographs of the, uh, whatever police it is that monitors the border, they, uh, they put pictures up like a half inch of snow, footprints in it, you know, but it was bone dry when I went through. So I was really lucky, so I took advantage of that and just carried on right, right through to Chile, you know. Um, the customs woman said 
I was pretty lucky because there's snow forecast for two hours time you know and it, it was it's an hour to Los Andes from there so I'd beaten it you know I was down the hill before the snow came in so whatever happens now I've got I'm through the customs and immigration I've got 90 days I can just relax um, I didn't update my map before coming into Chile it's blank now um, I need to get some Wi-Fi and download the next bit for maps.me um, also my sim card doesn't work here because it's Argentinian uh, yeah so I've just got to maybe get a Chil Chilean sim card and move WhatsApp contacts across uh, maybe stick my UK sim in anyway that's it uh, till next time